After watching Hellraiser Inferno, my expectations for Hellseeker were through the roof with anticipation. Hellraiser 6, Hellseeker, attempts to get a little risky with another swing at the psychological mystery type. Hellseeker begins with Trevor and his wife Kirsty Cotton. Yeah, she's back. He loses control of his car and lands in the river, killing his wife and rendering him an amnesiac. The car scene is actually quite intense, they did a good job with it. From there, the movie is basically Trevor trying to find out what happened to his wife as his memory is that she died, yet everyone else believes that she's just missing or possibly murdered. He slips in and out of different hallucinations. I suppose the idea is to confuse you in the same way that Trevor is confused. The mystery aspect in this film could have been really good if it wasn't for the constant change in direction. You can never really trust what's real, so they did accomplish that. The detective is rather likable, and his true character isn't seen until the end. Through this puzzle of head games, he is also being investigated by the police for the possible murder of his wife. It's all unclear until the end when Pinhead puts things in perspective in the same fashion that he did in Hellraiser Inferno. Amongst fans, there seems to be a real tear between which in the series are good and which are bad. Certainly the first two were good, although the choice of actors in the film in the first one and parts of the second really kind of turned me off, although they have great storylines. Three and four are alright, but my number one is still Inferno. Hellseeker attempts to make as many surprises and twists as it can to keep you guessing. It's just not executed too well. I think this is the first one in the beginning of the downfall for the series. Pinhead is again regulated to small but crucial bits, and myself along with most fans I'm assuming, enjoy watching him on screen. I don't have much more to say on it, explaining all the twists and turns in each scene would require a rather lengthy review to cover it all accurately. I'm not saying it's a terrible film, I think it's much better than some, definitely better than Deader, which is a dumb title come to think of it, and yes I'm aware the kids in the film were called Deaders, but whatever. So give this movie a shot, but don't expect something fantastic or the meaning of life. We will be plowing through the rest of the Hellraisers and a couple of extra reviews based on the series over the next month, so sit back and enjoy the Hellraiser ride. Take care.